And then Bengals quarterback Joe Burrow remains on what the team is calling voice rest uh, this week. He is practicing, uh, but he's not doing press conferences because he's been told by doctors to rest his voice. Remember, he went to the hospital uh, a couple of weeks ago after the game against Green Bay with a throat contusion. So they're trying to get that well, but there's no concern about him playing in this game in Baltimore Sunday. He'll be good to go. Yeah, that's just an example, however, of how he's playing so well, but there's sort of a recklessness to him which is sort of the beauty of him in some way, yes. right? It, but, but at the same time, there's concern about the injury of it all. And so, and so, R.C., let me start with you. What are we paying closest attention to in this game? Because it is a battle for the top of the division, whether people are fully recognizing that in Cincinnati yet or not. The dude's taking the snaps, and you just talked about Joe Burrow, and you talked about what Joe Burrow means to this team. Like, that dude is so different, and I know it comes from a little bit of my LSU fandom and the fact that he's also an alum, but when you watch Joe Burrow play, it's a football player, right? Joe Burrow's not just out there. He's not just standing in the pocket. The dudes aren't playing football around him, and Joe Burrow's playing quarterback. Joe Burrow's a part of the game. Joe Burrow's taking hits. Joe Burrow is fighting for the extra yards. Joe Burrow's making you feel that he's just like the other 10 dudes on the field. But that comes at peril sometimes. And it's the same thing with the dude on the other side. Lamar Jackson is willing this team to win. The first game that this team has won where Lamar Jackson didn't have to be Superman was against the Los Angeles Chargers. So this game is about those two young quarterbacks and their two teams. The Cincinnati Bengals are trying to get to the level that Lamar Jackson and the Baltimore Ravens are on. This is the week to do it and they only get there if their young quarterback plays like a superstar. And, and you know, and, and Ninko, I mean, the, the both quarterbacks fascinating. The first time you were ever on this show, you told us that you would consider taking Lamar Jackson ahead of Patrick Mahomes if the two were in similar circumstances. And we all thought you were out of your mind. And it doesn't sound quite so crazy right now. Well, how about Lamar, the season he's having and what we expect from him against a really good Cincinnati defense? Yeah, I can't go against Lamar. I just can't do it. I've, I've been high on Lamar since he was drafted. I said he'd be the best pick out of the five quarterbacks drafted when he was the first-round pick from the Ravens. And listen, when I look at the Bengals, I respect their defense. They're the number five defense in the NFL. They went out. They got Trey Hendrickson. He, he seems to be a rising star. So they, they've won in their offseason with their additions defensively. When I look at Joe Burrow, he's – Super talented, and I love everything that I watch. From what I hear coming out of the team, though, they're telling them to slide a little bit more instead of taking the damage. Um, but just what the Ravens are able to do and how explosive they are with Lamar and Mark Andrews and, and throwing the football, I got to go with the Ravens. I went with Cincinnati against the Packers, but the, the kicker let me down. The lonely kicker. So I'm going with the Ravens this time. <laughs> that, that was a disappointment. I'm not going with and, and in fact, I mean, even the opposing quarterback is telling Burrow to slide more. Yes. Who do you like in this game and why? Sacho. Yeah, I like the Baltimore Ravens, but I just want to go to RC's point about these two quarterbacks. Like, yeah. they are the same when it comes to mentality. I remember when Lamar Jackson got drafted, 32nd overall, may not have been a first round pick. And all I remember from that interview, he said, I'm going to make them eat their words. And ever since he got in the NFL, he's been making them eat their words. Then Joe Burrow, you go back and watch what he did at LSU. LSU, and I'm, I mean, that's not even bias. That's like greatness. Like, he was great at LSU, and then he's been great when he's been healthy in the NFL. These two quarterbacks have that kind of killer instinct mentality where no one is going to Well, and, and again, Burrow was the guy who was dra originally at Ohio State, and he had to go and reprove himself. So he had yep. doubters to overcome at a different level than, uh, than, than in the same way that Lamar did, sort of. R.C., who do you like in this game? <laughs> I'm going to take the Bengals, Greeny. It's paining me because Lamar's playing so good, but the Bengals find a way to pull this game out. I believe Joe Burrow, Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd on the offensive side of the ball, and the defense finds a way to make enough plays with the new pressure they can put on the quarterback with a guy like Trey Hendrickson to just edge out the Baltimore Ravens. Please don't crush me, people in Baltimore. <laughs> I've been on y'all's side all season. <laughs> They've been real good. Grass, who you like? I want to take the Bengals like RC, but I can't. I, I took the Chargers to beat the Ravens last on, week. They Grimes. made me look terrible. I am not betting against Lamar. These might be my two favorite quarterbacks in the league right now, honestly, to watch. Love them both. 